All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the Green Bay Packers in tonight's video because, folks, we just took down the Los Angeles Rams 24 to 19 on the road. Uh, a win is a win, man. I feel great about this win. That third quarter was a master class performance. Uh, Jordan Love obviously still working himself back from that injury he sustained at the end of week one. I don't care if it's not pretty. I don't care if it's not sexy. I will just say it was a game of two halves. Uh, Los Angeles really dominated the time of possession in the first half. The Packers couldn't really get much going outside of their first touchdown in the first quarter. So it was weird. It was like kind of like a quarter game. Like the Packers won the first quarter. They desperately lost to the second quarter, but they salvaged it with a pre-halftime field goal. Shout out to Braden there. And then they come out of the gates in the third quarter beautifully. Force a fumble on Kyra Williams, Notre Dame legend. I'm a Notre Dame fan, sorry. Um, and then they just went down. Tucker Craft had a couple of touchdowns in the third quarter. They went down the field and scored a couple of touchdowns. And from that point on, um, it was pretty much just trying to get to the end of the football game. And, you know, it, it's week five, uh, but it's a little bit different for the Packers because Jordan Love, like we said, you know, he got injured on the third to last play in week one, missed games two, missed games three, comes back against the best defense in the NFL, in my opinion, in the Minnesota Vikings last year. We're down 28 to zero. Or sorry, last week. 28 to zero, get a you know, end of the half touchdown, 28 to seven, hold Minnesota to the three points in the second half. We have a really nice offensive second half. But once again, it was Jordan Love, you know, coming back from an injury. Now, Jordan necessarily wasn't perfect this afternoon, but he did more than what was needed to win this football game. And shout out to this defense. Shout out to Xavier McKinney. We're going to talk about all that in today's video. Got to take this in out. But before we do, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button. Hit that sub up for daily NFL content. I'm a diehard cheesehead, so we post a ton of Packers content on this channel. If we could try and get this video to 240 likes, that would mean the absolute world to me. So let's start with the offense here. Uh, Jordan Love, 15-26, 224 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Like, honestly, most of the... Jordan Love football games. I feel like it was more of a, you had to watch it to appreciate it. You know, the first half was extremely annoying outside of the first quarter as far as, or right out of the gate, as far as just putting points on the board. But they came out with a plan in the second half. And I do just want to throw this in here because I am a biased Packers fan. And, you know, Christian Watson is hurt. He missed this football game. Romeo Dobbs I got suspended for this football game. You know, like we said a couple of days ago in our Packers video, I don't really want to even comment on that because I just hope he's all right. I hope it all works out, obviously. But technically, these are wide receiver one, wide receiver two. Now, I do understand to my nitpickers that Jaden Reed's leading the Packers in receiving yards, and I get it. He's like a top five receiving guy heading into this week. But on the depth chart, Christian Watson and Romeo Dobbs are wide receiver one and wide receiver two. And kind of like you're seeing with the Rams this afternoon, if I take your wide receiver one and two, folks, if I take your wide receiver one out of the game, that makes a big deal. If I take wide receiver one and two out of the football game, that makes an even bigger deal. And that's why you see the Los Angeles Rams sitting here at one and four, because they're missing Puka. They're missing Cooper. So I'm not trying to like flex on the Rams for winning this football game. But what I do know is it's a 17 week season and a win is a win, no matter how you want to chalk it up. For some weird reason, I've been making NFL videos in my third year. For some weird reason, not including Packers fans in this, there's just like this weird kind of nitpickiness, even when teams win. So what I want to tell all my people watching this video right now is enjoy and appreciate that victory because it's not easy in the National Football League. Josh Jacobs picks up where he left off, 19 carries, 73 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Wilson, Emmanuel Wilson, backup running back, also had a nice couple of carries. He finished with six carries for 24 yards. The Packers as a whole against a young, hungry, chip-on-their-shoulder Rams defensive line, especially put up 30 carries for 126 yards and a touchdown. Now, Jaden Reed did have a good football game, four catches for 78 yards. It was more so in the first quarter. Josh Jacobs had a nice 21-yard catch. Dontavian Wicks, not the best game. Two catches for 20 yards, but he had seven total targets. Malik Keith, Bo Melton had a couple of catches themselves. Tucker Craft, 
you know, a couple of years ago, we draft Luke Musgrave and then we draft Tucker Craft. And last year, it was kind of even Steven, right? And we talked about this in our Packers video from Friday night or whenever that was. Tucker Craft's emerging as tight end number one in the Green Bay Packers step chart. And it's extremely evident. But today, this afternoon, all of it or three of it came in the second half. Four catches, 88 yards, including a 66 yarder from Jordan Love. Two touchdowns. It's hard to explain. Like, that's a great stat line. Parker Craft. Four catches, 88 yards, two touchdowns on only five targets. He averaged 22 yards per catch. But it's almost something you have to watch. And, you know, my Packers fans watching this video right now know exactly what I'm saying. There's like this kind of energy there's i hate saying this word there's this kind of aura that tucker craft has and i just have a really strong and nothing against luke musgrave still love him still think he's a great tight end but it's emerging as like tucker craft's extremely versatile he can block he can catch he runs routes nice he can get some yards after the catch tucker craft you know kind of forgotten about from the Packers season last year just because like Matt LaFleur said, and like everyone said all summer, you know, anybody on any given week can be wide receiver number one, including the tight end. So just great game from Tucker Craft. Defensively, man, shout out to this entire defensive group. Xavier McKinney, I think he's the first dude to have an interception on a new team in five straight games since the 70s. He had another one today, really should have been two. Xavier McKinney had a five total interceptions in the first five weeks of the regular season i'm assuming that broke a ton of records because i mean what he's doing is insane and we knew jeff halfley coming in as the brand new defense coordinator for green bay we knew there was going to be you know changes not only scheme but personnel he brings in xavier mckinney the packers spent a bunch of money on day one very uncharacteristic to our franchise and we signed josh jacobs and we signed xavier mckinney and McKinney also had a fumble recovery. The dude's playing like the best safety in the NFL. And I get it. You know, it's a small sample size. It's only five games of the season. But Xavier McKinney, keep in mind, the dude's 25 years old. And he turned 25 like two months ago. This is an extremely young kid. Uh, but he looks like, I mean, honestly, like a, just a defensive player of the year type of guy right now. Evan Williams, game ceiling, pass breakup. He had 10 total tackles. Quay Walker, nine total tackles. Javon Bowler, a fellow rookie, nine or seven total tackles. Keyshawn Nixon had a good game. Isaiah McDuffie had a good game. Eric Stokes. Cooper with a beautiful sack earlier on. Lucas Van Ness doing his thing. Carl Brooks, a sack and a half. We talk, and I'll end it here, and we'll get into like the, the meat and potatoes of this football game and the Packers as a whole in the next couple of days You know, after this win. Carl Brooks and the Packers defense is a really good example. I just want to get this rant out of the way. Everybody was saying the entire offseason, the Packers have so many different wide receiver number ones this upcoming year. You know, Any of our wide receivers, any of our tight ends, there's so much talent on our offensive side. But like us Packers fans know, the same thing correlates defensively. It could be Angabari. It could be Kenny Clark. It could be Rashawn Gary. It could be Carl Brooks. It could be Devontae Wyatt. It could be Quay Walker. It could be so many different players on a week-to-week -week basis that step up and help this team win football games. That's it for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I sure did enjoy that victory. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button for daily NFL content. Give me your thoughts. Give me a total team grade for the Green Bay Packers down below. We'll see you in a couple of days.